Well, hello, fellow rangemers. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Don't mind me. I'm just here kind of fishing and everything and, uh, well, ice fishing here in the Alps biome. Let's go ahead and take that by the end. I haven't really caught much of anything. It was a beautiful sunrise. I just kind of decided to spend the night, uh, fishing and stuff for the most part. And yeah, I actually have, I need to check on something while I'm over here and before I forget. I put a fishing trap over here to try and catch some things. Looks like we have totally caught some things. So let's go ahead and empty this out. Um, oh gosh. So I'm trying still very hard to catch some uh, puffer fish so that we can make some, uh, what are they called? Potions of underwater breathing so that we can go and start catching some water type Pokemon because good lord, they go so deep in the water because they're water types, obviously. But you know, I can't breathe. <laughs> I have Dugong to ride underwater and everything now. Um, I can't remember which Pokemon and stuff I have introduced you guys to, but there's been a lot that has happened. So recently, um, let me come over here and show you. Oh, hello, little swine of you are cute and little. So I have finally finished. Uh, oh no, I forgot one window. Dang it. So I forgot. <laughs> I came over here and I finally finished. I moved the bunnies and everything out of here. I still need to come up and clean out all the snow, but this is basically the Redwood Inn and I need to decorate. And that's literally about it uh, because I've already cased it all in. Well, I thought I did. I haven't with that one window, but <laughs> I'll do that later. Um, and so yeah, I'm making progress. Building is not my favorite thing to do. And so it is, it is very time consuming as well. And I don't, you know, when you try to make something and then you have to also edit and then, or record and then edit it all, it, it takes a ton of time, guys. But yeah, anyways, this is the Redwood Inn. I think next I'll be starting on the stables, which will be over here. I'm gonna hollow out this more and stuff. And this is going to be where the stable hand man uh, lives. I don't, uh, stable boy, I think. <laughs> He'll live there temporarily. I feel like I'll, I'll make him a better home and stuff eventually. But let's come over to my house because I have a few things for us to do today. Uh, so we're gonna come over here. I finally, uh, you guys will not believe it. Um, I have actually been working inside my house and it looks good. At least the storage rooms aspect of it looks pretty good. So let me come in here and show you what, you know, actually let's come over here and heal my Pokemon really quick. I was uh, fighting some Pyloswines so that I could get some more leather because I need them for item frames for my storage room. So it's not completely done yet, but it is definitely on its way to being done. I moved all my bunnies over in here. So they're now just hanging out. Here's nearly, um, <laughs> I didn't really have a better place to put them. I'm definitely going to make them like their own like outside enclosure where they can actually have like water and stuff too pretty abundantly um and then carrots and stuff of course for them but this is my room not too much not too many changes although i did go mining recently and i found this really cool fossil so i have to make the things to actually uh put this fossil like back bring it back to life uh we'll probably do that in another episode because i have a few things for us to do today like taking some photos. So I have actually, let's see, I think I have it in this backpack. Yeah, so I have uh, some ink sacks, redstone, and paper. So we can now actually craft the film for the camera. So I'm super excited. Oh, and this is actually a Pachirisu as well that was given to me. So I totally need to go and catch it as well. So I was gonna wait to do that, you know, hopefully you guys bring me some good luck and I don't accidentally hurt it or anything because I would be very sad because it's adorable. <laughs> okay, let's put up my fishing rod. I had it right in there. So now downstairs here is actually where I've done most of my work. So this is now my storage area. And I still don't think like, I want to eventually expand back here. This is basically where I kind of hid away the, um, like the iron base makers and things like that. Well, the mechanical anvils and stuff, but this will be kind of where I just make my <laughs> ultra balls and everything like that, that I'm just going to use to catch Pokemon. And this is basically, yeah, this is kind of the start of it. I caught some treasure. So I put it there in my booty <laughs> and now I have, uh, I've kind of started emptying out things. 
for the things that I think I'll use a lot of, I actually have kind of over here, I have like a rainbow of the gems. I thought that was really pretty and everything. And then the carpet and stuff, I think it's really nice, makes it super homey. Over here, these doors actually lead to nowhere. <laughs> but eventually, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm gonna go into the mountainside back there and that'll actually be like a greenhouse. So I'm gonna have a lot of glass and stuff kind of encasing everything over here. And hopefully that'll like that should let it to where uh, snow will stop, you know, snowing on all of my crops and destroying the crops. <laughs> and I get so frustrated. <laughs> but yeah, so um, then I have my enchantment table and everything. I finally got that set up. I had to go mining for some more diamonds, but I got all those, and I think now I have like plenty. Yeah, I've got 24 diamonds, tons of emeralds and stuff. Like we're good. We are totally good. Um, let's see. And then the other thing I've been working on is I've actually taken a few trips to the nether, but down here I have my extended storage. So like the storage drawers up there are great. They hold a ton of like one thing and stuff, but like for some stuff like the rock hounding mod, look at all these different rocks. I'm not gonna have like all of those storage drawers. I'm just gonna throw them into chests and stuff like this. Thank you Leica for all of the ocean jasper. I'm actually using it as accent and stuff because I really like how it looks in the texture and stuff. So um, I'm gonna replace all of the torches with like these fancy lamps from Bibliocraft. I just have to get like some more iron and more glowstone and stuff, but that just means I'll have to go back into the nether. And I think I'm gonna add on some more like uh, probably like the curves and stuff from the architecture mod. Like, I think I have a few. I was kind of playing around. Like, I won't use these because it's the Ocean Jasper, but like, I'll probably do some things like that, just kind of around and stuff. Can I actually put them down here? Oh, I can. That'll look cool for a portal. I'm down for that. Okay, so um, obviously I won't use this, but <laughs> just to kind of show it, maybe I'll put it out of mangrove wood or something. I don't know, something that'll kind of stand out. Um, but yeah, oh, where am I gonna put all these fish? I really like this crawfish. This is really, really cute. Uh, where do I want to put this? I don't know. I don't really have a spot for like food or anything. I guess I should also make some more item frames really quick too before my pockets get too empty. Let's just go ahead and throw these fish all in here. This can just be kind of a temporary holding for all of these fish. Oh my gosh. And was that a snail? Oh my gosh. What can I make with that? Ham's Harvest Craft. Hmm. I bet it's like some kind of escargot or something like that. <laughs> okay, so let's go put this stuff back up here. I've even got the name tag that I got from Ashley so long ago. I need to put that up. Um, I started to put kind of like treasure stuff, like right in here, like pretty rare. Like I went, uh, where did I go? I went in the nether and I flew around on Noctowl and me and Noctowl found a bunch of different fortresses. And I actually found a music disc, I think, while mining. There was like uh, supposed to be like a dungeon thing, but nothing was spawning because this is Palamon. <laughs> Nothing's gonna spawn like that. Um, and for these, it's actually really cool because uh, thank you so much, Anya <laughs> and Leica, for helping me figure out like the storage drawers and stuff. This is an automatic drawer controller. So you just kind of keep left clicking it. Like if I have these all in here that I just left click and it goes automatically into the drawer that it's already there. And it's so nice to just come home with my pockets full and just throw it all into the drawer controller and it goes into the right place. <laughs> it makes adventuring and stuff a lot less stressful, let me tell you. Okay, so I think I'm gonna actually put these iron bases. Do I have a drawer for them? I feel like I should keep them out here just so I can keep them for actually making uh, some more pokeballs and stuff. So, for today, I know we have the uh, camera to make, so I want to go around and maybe take some photos, kind of kind of spend time and stuff. I want to make more of these terrariums. Aren't they so cute? I love the little flower. It's adorable. <laughs> I want to make some more. I know there's a ton of them. Um, but yeah, for today, what I wanted to do was go around and try to take some photos. But I also really wanted to try to uh, find a Totodile or basically any kind of water type starter Pokemon because Laika has an enormous, <laughs> an enormous puppy Pokemon to trade for me. Uh, so if I can find her a, uh, like I'm thinking like a Totodile, I might find Piplops, but I feel like 
I can't remember if she said she already has one and I think I've actually only got one which I wanted to keep but I could be wrong let me actually check oh we have a piplup right here okay here's one okay so it's small do I have another one I feel like I remember oh my gosh I do okay maybe I've already got it is also small I want enormous type Pokemon so bad uh <laughs> Oh, this is Eris, isn't this? Um, yes, this is Eris. Uh, she has made her way over into Palamon from my Palace Server series. <laughs> and she has an enormous Poochiena. I kind of feel like actually taking her out. Oh, and that's right, I got an enormous Houndour recently from Diamond Wolf. Thank you so much. Um, I traded her a uh, Tropius um, that I caught. Oh, guys, oh my gosh. Okay, that's another really important thing that happened. I was actually on a stream the other day, like I think like last week or something, with the Duchess herself. <laughs> she is another uh, like you know, streamer here that we have on the Palamon series, and she's also doing stuff on the Palace server. Um, and she does Twitch streams and things. So she actually had me on, and we did a ton. We had so much fun. I got lost a lot. Oh, a lot <laughs> but we went and caught a ton of Pokemon around and everything it was like almost three hours uh, or something um, so I'm planning on having a whole highlight kind of video and stuff come up uh, posted to my channel of that stream so you know if you want to go and check her out I could be in future ones and stuff with her because like it was a ton of fun just hanging out and everything and then if you want to go and check her channel out I'm gonna have it all linked below in the description but she was a ton of fun her town is flipping gorgeous oh my god she's a wonderful builder like <laughs> Uh, it puts all of my builds like to shame and everything and I, I know I'm not the best builder I just kind of go <laughs> I just kind of go with the same style over and over again. <laughs> okay, let's heal our Pokemon. But yeah, you guys can look forward to having that video up uh, sometime on my channel. I want to have, I want to say at least by Wednesday is when I'm going to have it up this week. So that would be July 18th at least. So but yeah, it'll be a longer one, I think, uh, because like I said, it was like three hours and it was a ton of fun. Um, so let's see. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. I need to just show you guys all my enormous Pokemon. Like it's ridiculous. Oh, and this one is for Worty. I have another enormous Magikarp. I'm going to trade her, <laughs> but this was an, an, this is an enormous Gyarados. I can't even write it without taking damage. Uh, let's see. Where did Eris go? There's Gucci and a, okay. Here's enormous. I think this Rapidash is also enormous. So is the Dugong and <laughs> the camera up. I think is actually normal. Uh, no, Camera Up is huge, but not enormous, so, uh, that's fine. Oh, and my Ralts evolved. Gosh, guys, I have to catch you guys up on so much. Oh, and in the stream, guess who came into the world? We now have a little baby Aerodactyl. So in the stream, you'll see where uh, we actually hatch Aerodactyl. We've walked around so much in that episode catching Pokemon and just hanging out and stuff. Oh my gosh, Napoleon. You, you, no, don't come near me. No, I'm hiding. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these Pokemon are so aggressive in this world, guys. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, we have a uh, little baby Aerodactyl now and everything too. So let me actually, okay, I'm gonna run past this Empoleon. Hopefully it doesn't want to try to fight me because the strongest Pokemon I have is my Rapidash and that is definitely weak to water type like Empoleon. Okay, so let's come over here. We can bring out, so this is my enormous dugong and it is ridiculously big. <laughs> it's so funny, I like melt into it. But if with dugong, I can actually ride underwater and stuff. Again, you'll see this all in the stream and things because I used dugong to get underwater. We were trying to look for some dratini. Ooh, fun, and dittos and things too. It was such a fun stream. And I learned so much about like where Pokemon would spawn and stuff. But here's Eris. She is a enormous Puchiena, which is actually kind of funny because she still looks super, super small. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. But yeah, Eris, she's causing trouble all the time. Let's bring out Gyarados. We're just gonna bring out all the enormous Pokemon. Look at how huge! <laughs> it's so big, oh my gosh. Yeah, like if I fall off or anything, I will take fall damage. You can't even see him. You can't even see his face. Oh. Okay, but yeah, we can kind of like walk around and stuff on Dugong, or, or not Dugong, I'm sorry, Gyarados. 
At least, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of hopping around to get everywhere. He doesn't want to actually move. Uh, so let's fall. And we take fall damage a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> okay, and let's see our enormous hound hour I just got. Look at how big! Again, like, it's not that huge when you think about it, but, like, it really is for its kind of type of Pokemon and everything. Like, if we looked at other hound hours and other Poochiana and stuff, they'd be significantly smaller. This <laughs> You guys are all ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start returning everybody. And let's get on the ball with things. So I think I need to grab uh, my Rapidash before we head off because Rapidash is, is super strong, super strong. Actually, do we even really need to head off to find a Pokemon? Because I think... Uh, Laika just needs like water and grass starter types. None of the grass starter types really spawn anywhere near me. I think I can probably go out looking for them. You know what? Let's, okay. If all else fails and we can't find like a water starter type, like a, a Totodile or something like a, I think she said she already has a Bulbous, Bulbasaur, but maybe like a Snivy or something, then I will see if she wants the Piplup. So I'll work on that and I'll do that just so we have it in the next episode. So. Let's see, where did I put Rapidash? Rapidash, where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so we'll leave Eris. No, I kind of want to bring Eris. We don't need our Gyarados for sure. Uh, Houndour, I also want to train. And then Camerupt, we can actually leave behind as well. And I would really like to hatch one of these eggs. So I'm not entirely sure which one will hatch into what. Like, at all. <laughs> but let's see if we can bring them along, see if maybe we can get this one of these uh, Pokemon to hatch. Um, the other thing I really needed to do was actually get this patch of Risu. I want to really try to catch it. Um, hmm. Okay, so I have that. I have Noctowl. Noctowl will put it to sleep. I just don't want anybody to accidentally like kill it because I don't think it was super high level. So let's go ahead and bring out Pachirisu before anything else decides to attack it let's go ahead and oh no noctowl come on oh my gosh it's too small pachirisu please fight me oh my gosh just wanting to ignore me okay there we go okay let's go ahead and put you to sleep okay it's asleep and before i attack it i just want to see how like if I just threw a Pokeball at it, if that would, if that would maybe miraculously, miraculously. Oh, that was another thing, a part of the stream. Oh my gosh, we captured it. <gasps> I'm so excited, little Patty. Oh my gosh, yes, good job, Noctowl, putting things to sleep. Oh my gosh, but yeah, that was another thing with the stream. Bad puns all around, uh, or should I say, mer puns all around <laughs> the whole time. So. Um, yeah, just another reason for you guys to to check it out for sure because it was, it was a ton of fun, ton of fun. Okay, so now we have our Pachirisu. I'm super excited. I just want to know, it looked like it was kind of an ordinary size. Um, I am trying to get like a lot of enormous stuff, but like, oh, it's small. That just makes it adorable. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, we'll keep Pachirisu in there and we'll, we'll train up these guys. Actually, Krabby, where were you? Krabby had the EXP share, so let me actually take that off and put it on like Eris, um, and then we can come back and put uh, Krabby back in and get our egg back. Okay, awesome. So now that we have talked and chattered all throughout the night, <laughs> and that dugong, I, I don't think that's an enormous one. Mine was definitely an enormous one. Um, let's get on Noctowl. Oh, actually, no, before we leave, I have to craft the film. Oh my gosh, I would have so felt so silly had I not actually crafted it before leaving. So I'm pretty sure this is all I need to make it. Yep, okay. Oh gosh, what is fighting me? No, I don't want to fight. Go away. <laughs> okay, so now we have that. I can actually put up the screen backpack. My inventory is a, <laughs> a little bit chaotic and stuff, um, but that's still because I'm, I'm kind of moving things. Like a lot of my stuff is still there and I need to move it into my storage room and everything like that, which I will definitely do sometime soon. I needed that green bag. 
<laughs> I still had my camera in there. Darn it. Okay. Doesn't the camera look so cute? All these icons? I love it. Okay. Um, no. Spine up. Stop it. No one needs your aggression right now, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't really know how this works. I know I was playing around with it, but I don't want to really, like, s like open up a photo uh, until I know that, like, I don't want to accidentally use a film or something, you know? And then, like, it's gone forever. So let's see what kind of Pokemon and stuff we can find over here. Maybe just kind of out in the wild. And just go on a little expedition, because, you know, we're, we're Rangermers. Rangermers! <laughs> so let's come over here. Oh, there's fighting Pylos lines. I might actually fight them as well, because I still need a ton of leather. So please excuse me for a second as I fight this guy. This is also a great way for Rapidash to be leveling up and for, like, Eris to level up and stuff from the ex at EXP share. It's pretty great. Oh, just a small bop. I don't need a snowball! I need leather! <laughs> gosh, now I feel bad for even fighting it in the first place. Oh my gosh. Okay. Plenty of, uh, Mareep and everything all around and Flappies. Okay, so let's come back over here. I don't really need wool right now, but I'll come back and shear them whenever I do. It's great that I have, like, leather and, oh my gosh, what? What is that? Ultra chest? Ooh, I got a berry! Okay. Awesome, I'm gonna keep that because I want to keep- wait, what do you- what do you have? A lucky egg to double the experience! That's right! Okay, another thing that I completely forgot about that, um, you, you guys probably noticed right away, um, I have taken off the shaders for this because it just got a little bit too laggy and everything, so now we are seeing it in pretty much the default texture. I'm gonna look around for different texture packs and things. Um, if it- there's a- the Venusaur over there on the ice. Why did the Venusaur spawn on the ice? I don't understand. Okay, I want to go try to fight it. We're not too far from home. I could probably win. Rapidash is grown. Whoa! Do you guys see this Kingler? You're- No, don't fight! Oh, you killed it! Oh, that was an enormous Kingler and you killed it right before my eyes. Although, I really think that you're kind of cool looking. So, like, can I take your photo? Oh my gosh, I can. This is so fun! How do I take it? <gasps> I took it! What? I got a Kingler photo? What is that? What do I do with this? Do I just have a Kingler now? Am I supposed to take... Whoa, wait. With the camera, are you supposed to take pictures of the Pokemon, like, individually? Like, am I gonna get a different one? Oh god, no. I don't want to fight you. Okay, I escaped. <laughs> okay, so let's take a photo of like, here, there's the spiel. So let's come over here and take a picture of you. So am I gonna get like a spiel photo that I can like hang around my house or something once I get you? I am, oh. <gasps> we have more items. We have so many more things to collect. I'm gonna need so many more ink sacks. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited. Oh, that's awesome. Now I just want to go and take photos of all these different Pokemon. We should go and get that Venusaur. Where was that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, and a Magneton. Oh, so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, I really want to get like a Legendary or something or maybe like a Shiny. How would a Shiny Pokemon look as for like a camera? Oh my gosh, that's a baby. The babies are fighting and they're so aggro. Aww. That's adorable, but like sad because it's really sad. That's awesome though. I really didn't know that we could get like a photo of these guys. That's so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. We get to find Pokemon in their natural habitat and take photos of them. You know what I really want? Oh, look, Shelter. I really want Farfetch. Because those are pretty flippin' cool, in my opinion. Okay, let's come over here. Shelters, I need you all to calm down and stop moving. That would be great. Can you stop moving? Got it. Haha! -ha! We have. Sh I feel kind of bad because to take a photo, you actually have to go and attack something. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. It's a good thing that they don't really take damage for the most part. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can find like the whole evolution line of uh, Steel. So like, here are here's you. So this is the second evolution, right? 
Yeah, you're not the last one. Oh my gosh, are you coming at me? No, face me. Face me! Gosh. You are the worst seal. <laughs> the worst. Okay. No! <laughs> you're doing this on purpose. Oh my gosh. On a porpoise. It's not a porpoise. <laughs> So yeah, we have a Celio. So let's see. I wonder if we can find like a walrus uh, or a wal walrus. I don't really know. I actually don't think I've seen one, to be completely honest. Huh. Celios, Celios, just all these Celios. I feel like that's like some kind of Kingdra or something over there. I don't know. Oh, and someone found a shiny seal not too long ago, and I am super jealous because it's just a pink little ball and it looks like so much fun it looks like a little beach ball like does anybody else get that kind of feeling from little spiels they're just like little beach balls like look at that it's a beach ball you can't tell me otherwise <laughs> okay i'm gonna see i'm gonna maybe fly around and see if i can find any kind of like rare or legendary pokemon because like how cool would it be if we got a photo of like a Charizard X or something like that or like a legendary boss or something like you know like I'm stoked we have plenty of film and stuff for now so I think I'm gonna try to find one and then I'll meet back up with you guys so I'll see you in well I mean I say like I'll see you in a second but it's really like I'll see you in three two and one guys I found a jungle biome so I know it's not like a legendary Pokemon or anything but uh that's pretty darn cool to be pretty much near my Alps again it wasn't very far from where I found the mushroom biome <gasps> look it's a Yanma and a Venomnat oh my gosh I totally want your photo I want your photo and then please let me catch you Please let me catch you, and then please let me also get your photo. We are honing in- <gasps> Look at you! Face me! Please! We are Pokemon Snap right now! <gasps> yeah! Look at that! Oh, I have a jungle sapling. Perfect! Oh my gosh, Yanma photo! How adorable! And I saw Zatus and stuff flying around, but I think they only fly around at night. I totally want to explore more. Where was that venom nap? Where did that go off to? There you are, trying to hide. Here, come here! Come here! You're so cute! Better than that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's shy. Please come here. Please, I would like to take a photo of you. I wonder if I could take a photo of my own Pokemon. Uh, can you please come? Please, sir. Please. Please, sir. He's probably like, why? Why have I been chosen for this photo? I don't want paparazzi. I am a simple- <gasps> You are beautiful. Oh my. Oh, and a Venomoth. Look at all these things! Oh my gosh, okay, that's a flower. There's so many Pokemon now that like we have access- Oh my gosh, you are the most camera shy Pokemon I think I've ever met and it's so challenging trying to jump around after you. Please love me. Please, I want to also try to catch you afterwards. I would really like to get a photo of you. Please, please face me. He wants nothing to do with me. Oh my goodness. Can I get ahead of you or something, maybe? Where are you going? Where'd you go? Darn it, I lost him. Oh, he's right here. <gasps> Please look at me. I don't know if it'll work if like you're not looking at me and I don't wanna risk losing a film. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to give up on that. Um, let's get out of that. The jungle was a bit on fire, so I had to stop that. <laughs> so there's some random pulls. <gasps> oh, it's a pincher. Oh. Ooh, we're getting a photo of this guy. <gasps> look at me. Look at me. Don't fight me. Just look at me. Is that a hair cross back there that I see? Don't, don't, don't fight me. Just look at me. Come over here. <gasps> no! It's fighting me! I escaped! Where did it go? Okay, look at me. Look at me. Just, just turn this way. Just turn, turn this way. Just any day now. Any day that you want to turn this way, or not. I mean, this, this is cool too. Look at that. Look at that! Ah, uh, this is great. I flippin' love this camera. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that means we have a pincher photo. Oh, this is so fun. This adds like so much more collecting like opportunities. <gasps> it's a Tangela! Oh, please look at me. Please look. This is just me running around and being like, please look at me. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> Just look at me. I don't want to be fought. 
Oh, dang it. It's fighting me. Nope, I escaped. Look at me. Do I, I hear a primate as well? Can I, like, get out of this and maybe just destroy that? Okay. Will you look at me, please? Did that work? Oh, <gasps> yeah, now we have a manky photo. I swear I hear a primate. Like, I, or, or maybe it's just the manky. There's also that Tangela over here. Oh my gosh, I am having so much fun with this. This is ridiculous. I don't want to lose or use up all of my film though yet. So I think, I think I'm gonna head home and we're gonna call it an, a, a very successful expedition. I have, uh, oh, there's the primate. Oh, we're taking a photo of this guy. There's more than one and a chatot. It flew away. It did not want to be my superstar, which is kind of weird because you know, they would love that. Um, hello. Oh, <gasps> this jungle is life. There's breaming. <gasps> Emolga! Emolder Olga! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm taking a photo of you and then I am trying to catch you right now. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Oh, knocked out. Put it to sleep. Don't die. You're how I, I will get home. Okay, so let's see if we can catch this. We can end on a good note. We caught a Pachirisu, and now we're gonna have an Emolga. And they're gonna be adorable. Oh, we did it! <laughs> oh my gosh, and Eris even leveled up. Oh, I'm so excited. This has been such a great trip. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, well, I'm gonna end it here before I get too distracted. We've only got four pieces of film left, but look at all of that. I'm gonna have to find some kind of massive like wall or something with item frames to show all of these photos and stuff so yeah oh my gosh i kind of sucks i wasn't able to find like a legendary or something but i'm sure one will spawn one day and we'll get a photo of it until that day i will see you all in the next one goodbye